Hi everybody, this is Michael Bartlett here and this is a quick video as promised to explain uh, some information about the new metric that I had developed and recently posted on LinkedIn. So the history behind this metric is I read an article called How Good is Good by YouGov in 2018. Okay, so here is the article and what happened in the article was they uh, tried to link uh, a numeric number between 0 and 10 to words in the English language and they run this over two data sets in England and America so these are the results as you can see very bad is an average score of 2.22 and then you come all the way up here to perfect to 8.75 and you can see the different distributions around you know each of the different words so the ones with these higher peaks are going to be more reliable the ones that are much broader not so much um, and then they gave a little bit of information explaining the differences between the US and America and here's a chart that shows them so for example mediocre here is bang on in both countries but then there are other ones like abysmal where the you know the gap is quite large uh, but essentially this is the uh, study that inspired me because I wondered if one might be able to create a metric that uses words and not numbers but still be able to map those words quite reliably two numbers so what I did is I went in and I looked at the bank of words that they had and I picked a number that had close distance between uh, one another to form the scale so they were equidistant between each other um, and that's really just so that you have a scale that's semi-reliable you know the difference between say if you have a five point scale one to two and two to three is kind of the same so you don't really want a scale where you've got words where one might represent eight and then the other say five and any other four you know that would be kind of off so try to make it kind of equal and I really had no idea how this was going to turn out but I just went ahead and I implemented it over four different surveys at JMark and was just wondering if there might be a way to predict the NPS so here's the question itself because I know a lot of people have been wondering what the question was so it is which of the following best describes your something experience so in the case of the one that we ran at JMark it was which of the following best describes your 2019 JMark experience and then of course we ran it 2020 2021 and 2022 these are the words that I chose which ends up forming a seven point scale and the benefits are that the question is broader and it's directly related to the experience uh, as you know some people will answer a zero or one on an NPS because they don't just casually recommend some services also the algorithm makes it harder for business to business industry professionals to skew their answers when taking the survey even if they know the algorithm behind it it's slightly more complicated and of course it may be tweaked after we run some pilots as well uh, companies who use NPS can continue to have a score but without the reliability risk as NPS gains more exposure as I'd mentioned in my LinkedIn posts as more and more people learn how NPS works especially in the B2B environment um, people will most likely bias their scores you know you get a service that's worth a five or a six you know it was okay no problem um, but then you get that question and you think well I don't want to hurt somebody by classifying them as a detractor so you bump it up to a seven Here's the data. I showed this already on my LinkedIn post. I actually have tweaked the algorithm since then. So these are the four different years that I ran it. These are the number of responses um, that we had to the survey. This was what the actual NPS came in as. And this is what the algorithm's predicted NPS was. And then we show the difference when we round it. So pretty accurate in the last three years, slightly off on year one. And one of the reasons that I'm making this video and that I reached out to the community is I need help piloting this uh, so I can see both how the algorithm does with lower uh, responses and higher number of responses as well. Also, uh, JMark is a very high performance company that always has high NPS scores. It would be very intriguing to see what would happen if we could run this algorithm on someone that has a low NPS score or a negative NPS score. I'd be interested to see if it can map that as well. So that's the whole point of reaching out to everybody and doing this video is because I want to be able to create a pilot to really test this out in the real world with uh, other companies outside of JMark to see if we can finally produce a metric that can do exactly what it appears to be doing from this initial test. So in summary, the metric currently appears to be able to predict NPS with reasonable accuracy. Uh, some partners will be needed to help me with a pilot. If anyone's interested, just let me know. I can. Uh, 
Uh, the way that I plan to do this is to have you guys add the question into your existing survey underneath your MPS and then once you've got your results in just send me the information for the new question um, and then I'll run it through the algorithm and I'll tell you what the MPS score is predicted which kind of will be a bit of fun because then we can see what you guys actually you know what the actual score was uh, and if it's different let me know and then I can see once I've got everybody's scores in from the pilot if there is a way to tweak the algorithm them to get everybody's uh, close enough that it would be worth using. Uh, there's no cost to anybody. Once the pilots are finished, we'll make the algorithm completely publicly available so people can use it all they want. Uh, and the other thing is I need help naming the metric as well. I've got no idea what to call this thing. So if anyone's got any ideas, um, please let me know. Uh, but anyway, that concludes uh, this little mini video that I wanted to do to explain this new metric. And I hope uh, there might be some folks in the industry that will be willing to help me pilot this.